I want this motor to run in forward direction and even in reverse direction. If I want this motor to run in both the directions, then surely I need a starter. When I press this start button, you can see motor rotates in forward direction. And now if I want to change the direction, then first I will press stop push button to stop the motor completely. After this, I am pressing this reverse start push button. You can see that motor is now rotating in reverse direction. So friends, with the help of this starter, you can easily run the motor in both the directions. Today in this video, we will learn how to make reverse forward starter. Let's begin. To make reverse forward starter circuit, we need two contactors. And for the protection of the motor, we need overload relay. To operate these contactors in reverse and forward direction, we also need two start push buttons and to stop the contactor, I will only use one stop push button. To start or stop power supply to motor, I am using four pole MCB. All these electrical components required to make this reverse forward starter is manufactured by CNC company. We will now going to understand how to make this starter. These contactors which you can see right now operates at 230 volt which means single phase power supply is to be supplied. To provide neutral supply to contactors, I am using this single pole MCB. I am connecting one end of black wire to output terminal. The other end of the wire is to be connected at A2 terminal. I am removing this relay from here and at bottom you can see this A2 terminal. I am connecting wire here. This second conductor also needs neutral power supply. So what I am going to do is, I will connect one more wire at the output terminal of single pole MCB. The other end of the wire is to be connected at A2 terminal of this contactor in this way. After supplying neutral supply to this contactor, I am moving towards this three pole MCB to which we will supply three phase input power supply. And at the output terminal, we will get three phase supply as R, Y, B. Connect a wire at any of these phases. I connected a wire at Y phase and I will use this wire for control wiring. The other end of the wire is to be connected to overload relay. You can see this 95 number terminal and I am connecting wire here. Take another piece of wire and connect at 96 number terminal of overload relay and the other end of the wire is connected to stop push button like this. The power supply from output terminal of this stop push button must be supplied to this start push button as well as this start push button. So what I will do is connect one end of wire at output terminal of stop push button. The other end of the wire is to be connected at input terminal of forward start push button. Now we need to provide power supply to this push button. So I am connecting one end of wire at input terminal of this start push button and other end of the wire must be connected to input terminal of this stop push button. After pressing this forward start push button, we have to start this contactor. But before initiating this, first I have to interlock both these contactors. If you start both the contactor together, then two phase will merge and there will be a short circuit. To prevent this, I will interlock these contactors so that they won't get started at same time. For this, what we have to do is, you can see this forward push button. Connect a wire at output terminal. Other end of wire is to be connected at reverse contactor. I am using this button for forward contactor. NC contact is provided below here. So I connected wire here. The output terminal of this NC contact is given here. I am connecting a wire from this terminal to A1 terminal of this forward contactor. So I provided power supply to turn on this contactor. For power supply of reverse contactor, connect a wire at output terminal of this reverse start push button and other end of wire is to be connected at NC contact of forward contactor. Now from this output terminal of NC contact, connect one more wire and other end of wire is to be connected at A1 terminal of reverse contactor. This connection we performed just now is known as reverse forward starter but only for inching type. What does inching type means? Let's understand. If I turn on the power supply and press this push button, you can see this contactor turned on. But I am still pressing this button 
After releasing my finger, contactor will turn off. If you want to run the motor by continue pressing this button, then only this much connection is required. If you want that by just one press, your motor starts running in one direction, then you need to make holding circuit for these contactors. To make holding circuit for contactors, what you have to do is connect this forward and this reverse push button by separate wires at input terminal. I connected this wire at input terminal of forward start push button. The other end of wire is to be connected at NO contact of forward conductor. Similarly, I connect one wire at input terminal of reverse start push button and other end of wire is to be connected at NO contact of reverse contactor. From output terminal of this contactor, connect one wire and connect other end of wire with output terminal of forward push button. You can see already a wire is connected at output terminal of NC contact of reverse contactor. If we want, we can supply power from this contactor to output terminal of push button or you can directly connect with NC contact terminal because a wire is already connected from push button to NC contact. I am repeating once more. See a wire is already connected from output terminal of push button to this point. So what we did is the power which is to be supplied from this contactor to push button is now supplied to this point of reverse contactor. Through this wire power is supplied to push button. The output of NO contact of this contactor is at this point. So I am connecting a wire at this point. The other end of wire can be connected with output terminal of this push button or at this NC contact point where a wire is already connected from output terminal of push button. So I am connecting other end of wire with NC contact of this contactor because the supply will ultimately reach to push button. The control wiring of reverse forward starter is now completed. Now power wiring is left. If I start explaining about power wiring, this video can be very time consuming. So I am doing it directly. The circuit diagram of power wiring is displayed on the screen. You can do the connection for power wiring as per the circuit diagram. To run this motor, our connection is now totally completed. Now if I want to run this motor, then first turn on MCB. Three phase supply and neutral supply is on now. After this, if I press forward start push button, then you can see direction of motor is also forward. You can see motor is running in this direction. If you want to run in reverse direction, then first stop the motor. Then press this reverse start push button. You can see motor is running in reverse direction. Let's stop for now. I am pressing this forward push button and to run this motor in reverse direction, if I directly press this reverse push button, then it won't get turned on because I interlock these contactors. If somehow both the contactors get turned on, then this motor will burn instantly. This is why interlocking is necessary in contactors. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and comment on this video. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.